Okay, welcome back. Let's build some verses here. I'm staying still with these sounds. So, um, what's this game um, synth one here? Let me, well, let's maybe go look for anything with 80s in it. So, let me go cross this out, search for 80. Okay, so it's just, um, I'm really, I'm needing something to drive this thing. this a lot no I like this one a lot okay I'm thinking this is gonna be our verse okay so what I'm saying is you've got to listen to them and kind of get the feel for what you want your song to be so I'm gonna drag that over to this empty area again I'm gonna have this start right here on the beat okay and it's actually the perfect length because we have one two three four we have four measures and that's what I want my verse to be. remember remember we always work in multiples of two so we have two measures for an intro four measures for our verse. So let's just rewind the beginning and see what we got so far here. Ooh, that is sounding good. Okay, very nice. Okay, so that is our verse. Now let's get a chorus. And um, let's stay with 80s stuff here. I'm gonna stick with this stuff uh, what else do we got here? What, what was this console? Yeah, I like that one. No, I think it's this one here. So I'm going to drag this one down here and let go of that. Now this one I will have to loop to make it equal four. Okay. Now one thing I want you to notice. First of all, every time I put a new track on, I put it into a, sorry, a new loop, I put it in its own track. So this is so I can adjust volumes of each one of these. So if I want to turn down the console chip beat, I can turn down the volume here or turn up this one. You can't just plump everything onto one track. And I see uh, new, new GarageBand students do that all the time. When I come to grade this, I need to see each thing has its own track. And, and you'll see, I will use this later on, but I'll keep it on the same track but each different loop needs its own track. Okay, so we have a verse and a chorus. Again, let's listen to it together. Nice. You see we're singing along, something about being in school or whatever. Okay, now we're about to go to a chorus. Really nice. I got my foot tapping to it already. This is good stuff. Okay, so that's good. Now, how songs go is they go verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So I'm gonna go select this, this verse that we have here. I'm gonna do Command C on the keyboard, so I've copied it. I'm gonna move my playhead to right here, and I'm gonna make sure this track is selected, and I'm gonna paste it. Okay, so now if we look at it, I have it here, and I have it here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. I'm gonna go here, copy it, and I've got the track selected down here. Wherever, whatever track is in the different color is where you're gonna paste, I'm gonna paste it. Okay, now if I zoom out a little bit, you can start to see, this is the zoom control, do you see that? That zooms in and zooms out of your, of your song. Okay, so you see we've got uh, the beat that drives the whole song, we've got a little bit of an intro sound here, and then we have a verse, a chorus, verse, then chorus. And that's, that's what I'm looking for in a song. When you listen to a song, streaming and everything, it goes like this, it follows this pattern. So let's go back and listen to it again. And see, just as you're waiting for something new to happen, something new happens. This is great. You listen to this for a little bit, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for something more. And then suddenly, something familiar. I'm like, oh, I know this from the previous part of the song. This is good. Now we're on verse two, and you got to be da 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 da. Now like. Na, 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 na. This, see, you got the chorus coming in here. Oh, this is looking good. But you know what we're going to do next is we're going to take a little bit of a break. We're going to have what's called a bridge. So come up in the next video and we are going to do a bridge.